Hey there folks and welcome back for another video and today we're going to use Wickham Super Smooth which is a really uh, nice uh, artisan soap out of the UK and we'll do this today for our, uh, British friends. Uh, this is a really really good soap. This one is called Club Cola and the scent is phenomenal. This is one of my favorite scents of all time period. It's that good. I like it that much. The performance on this is quite good. The only bad thing about this is we used to be able to get this through resellers in the U.S. and uh, Wickham last year or the year before stopped doing that. So it's a little less accessible uh, here in the U.S. than it used to be, but it really is a good quality soap. And if you are in Europe uh, and you get a chance to check this out, definitely try Wickham. And I really like Club Cola. They've got um, a number of great scents, but Club Cola is by far my favorite. Really good performer. It comes in a different container now. It's in a red round container, not the really large um, container that this is. But this is a really nice soap, and uh, I really enjoy it. In fact, I bought an extra of uh, this one. when I, uh, There was a time where we thought Wickham was going out of business, and uh, I bought an extra one of these because this is just a phenomenal soap. And uh, there's what it looks like, by the way. It's probably kind of hard to see, but really nice and we'll get a great shave with this today great load so let's uh, wet the face and get going stay tuned all right and we'll put the Wickham to work today and it's a really really good performer really easy to lather I feel and uh, the scent is fantastic this is really like I said not just one of my favorite artisan scents or it's one of my it's one of my top ten scents, period. Um, and the soap quality is quite good as well. It's very good. I love it. Unique scent. I can't really think of anything that smells like this or has a scent that's similar to this. It really is great. Alright, we got a nice thick lather here and that will do fine for pass one. Today we're going to use our Colonial Razors General, which I've seen um, it's been on sale or was around Thanksgiving. I don't know if it still is, but they also have like a chrome or silver-ish color uh, in this. If you're interested, you don't like black. This is a really nice mild razor and it produces a really nice shave, or at least it does for me. Check it out if you are interested. It's uh, aluminum, lightweight, but it uh, does a really nice job and made by two great guys, the Evans Brothers, who we call the Wonder Twins because they're twins. Um, nice razor. Very nice. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas yesterday if you observed the Christmas holiday. I went to see my folks with my wife. We had a nice time. Had a little meal. Just family time and that's really what it's all about. Christmas. And I re had received some emails. Um, was I going to get shave gear for Christmas? The answer to that is no. I got plenty of shave gear as it is and I'll buy it from time to time. So I don't really... Uh, get shave gear for Christmas. We really just buy for the kids, my wife and I. Um, buy for our nephews, you know, nieces, uh, uh, our kids, and other kids in the family. All right, great. First pass, we'll come back for pass two. So yeah, we buy you know, for my son, my daughter, and my brother and sister's kids. And uh, of course, our, our brother-in-law and sister-in-law's kids. And, uh, boy, there was a time years ago when, you know, all of the adults bought for each other. And holy mackerel, it was just, it was the, almost impossible to keep up with. And so, we started just buying for the kids. And my wife and I will usually get a, each other a little something, but nothing major. We try to keep, you know, Keep it nice for the kids. Christmas is really a magical time for the kids. It always was for me. And uh, we like to keep it that way. All right, pass two with this wonderful soap. 
and razor. And boy, that feels great. It's got great residual slickness. Um, and it just does a fine job. And the scent is, it's intoxicating for me. I just love it. So for my European friends, viewers out there, um, if you haven't checked out Wickham, check out Club Cola. Um, by Wickham, it's really, really nice. Good quality soap. Because I'm often asked by, you know, our European viewers, you know, what artisan products can we get? And I don't really know um, in terms of what's affordable. But um, this one here is made in England, so I assume it would be accessible to most of you, hopefully. And it's really, really good. There was an excellent second pass. We'll come back for pass three. It's difficult to describe this scent. It's kind of crisp, clean. It's got some pop to it. I don't know how to describe it. I'd call it about a seven on the scale of one to 10 on scent strength. It's a 10 on scent quality in terms of how much I like the scent itself. Um, in terms of being unique, it is very unique. And it's fantastic, I think. Just wonderful. By the way, I took my son the other day to see um, the Star Wars movie. And I hope I'm not spoiling anything. And if I am, if you intend to see the movie and don't want spoilers, you can stop watching the video now. I'm not going to give away anything major, but there might be some spoilers. Anyway, I took him to see the new Star Wars movie. And I was not impressed. I grew up, you know, watching Star Wars. I went to see the originals. And they were great movies. And I've seen all of them. And it took him last year to see the Star Wars movie. And we liked it. But this year, I, it was like the un-Star Wars Star Wars. There was no scroll at the beginning. You know, that font that goes down like this. There was almost no use of the Force. It was like Star Wars for all the people who have no... Jedi powers, right? And what is Star Wars? It's all about the Force and, you know, it, it was basically a movie devoid almost entirely, almost, not 100%, of the Force, which is kind of what Star Wars centers around. And for that reason, it was very un-Star Wars-like. You know, it's still well shot, beautifully shot, and I will say the last third of the movie picks up the the, t the first two thirds as an absolute snooze. It's like, you know, it's just absolutely not entertaining or wasn't for me. The, the last third, business does pick up. So it does somewhat redeem itself in the last third, but I gotta tell you, for the money that you have to spend, which was like um, ten twenty-five each for tickets, and then we both got a combo with like popcorn, a drink, and something else. That was another like twelve dollars each. So it's like fifty bucks to go to see the movie, and it was a for me a snoozer. I would much rather have just rented it at home, to tell you the truth. And I think that's what's hurting some of these movies. Not only is it outrageously expensive, the movie, like this one, was just, it was meh for me. All right, um, enough talk of Star Wars. We'll come back and do the post. Stay tuned. All right, and in comes the magic to make up for that lack of force on the Star Wars movie. This will bring it. This brings that magic. Because it's made by witches, of course. And it's really excellent, in my view. That was a really nice shave, by the way. Let's review the equipment really quick before we get to the aftershave. Colonial Razors General. Really nice, mild, Artist Club style razor. If you want mild, this is the one to get. And it's uh, it's not very pricey either, which is great. Plasson, Frenchy style. By that, I mean this one actually came from France. Uh, ordered it from Plasson, I mean to say. Really, really nice, overpriced, very, very overpriced by today's standards where you, you can get a brush like this for 10 bucks. This was like 80 bucks. And it's mostly for the handle, which is beautiful, but 
very, very overpriced considering what has happened with the synthetic knot market. All right, today we're going to use Razor Rock Motherfucker. Not because it matches this soap, just because I wanted to use it. Some days I'm just that way. And we'll slap it on and bring a close to this shade, which has really been wonderful. Another nice clean scent that hangs around. Fantastic. Um, again, folks, don't feel like you have to spend $20, $25 for aftershaves. There are great quality aftershaves out there between 10, sometimes the Razor Rock ones are even less when they go on sale. You know, between 10 and $15, Razor Rock Sterling, uh, fine. There's some great stuff out there that's affordable. So take a look at these affordable aftershaves and see how they do for me. <laughs> see how they do for you. I was gonna say they work really, really well for me. All right, folks, thanks as always for watching. Until next time, let's make America shave again.